What is up, guys? It is RSC6414 here, back with another I, uh, I pay per view review. This one is Impact Zone Wrestling Coronation. It just finished up about 15 minutes ago. Uh, yes, I did buy it on I pay per view on GFL.TV. If you watch my predictions, I produced about probably six or seven hours ago. You'll know what I'm talking about when I mean Coronation I pay per view. I uh, talked about IZW, Impact Zone Wrestling. Uh, various times on here, probably have five or six videos. I really do like it, enjoy it. Some cool storylines. This show is by far one of the best shows uh, with some of the matches. I wouldn't say like some of the matches were okay. Not every match was great, but there was about two or three that were really good matches. I really enjoyed it. Just because I really enjoy it doesn't mean you won't, you will, but it's my preference. Uh, I really do enjoy it enjoyed this iPay-Per-View. is definitely worth the $15 for sure. I definitely recommend going to GFL.TV and buy it. I'll post the link below. But yeah, this is my review. Overall, i got to say, uh, like I said before, this show was really good. Some of the matches on here were better than any of the matches this week. Uh, this is by far the best wrestling show to me of the week. Uh, overall, uh, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown, any WWE or TNA show. I was really good. The match was some of the, one of the best matches. One of the matches to start off the night was the best match I've seen all month, in my opinion. Great match. Uh, really got pumped up. Towards the end, there was a big twist and big turn. I'll tell you about that towards the end of the review. Enough of me talking. I mean, enough of me rambling on uh, about how good the show was. Uh, I'm going to review now. The first match started off was... Uh, copycat versus Damian Morte. Um, copycat worst in the world. Uh, Nemesis Damian Morte's match was a steel cage impact X match uh, where the the ropes there's two ropes and they cross each other to form an X with the title hanging down. This is a steel cage for the impact title. This match was what I was talking about. This was the best match I've seen all month by far in my opinion. Not by far, but it was the best match I've seen all month for any wrestling show. It's great, uh, some great action, there was lots of blood, uh, there was one point where copycat, they just threw each other, steel cage, uh, their face just nailing the fence, back and forth, high risk, uh, Damian Morte, if you don't know, he's performed a lot of high risk maneuvers and moves, uh, there was this one point in this match where he jumped off the rope, did a front flip, uh, missed, and then was out for a while. Copycat, he uh, hit him down one time like a suplex almost. Copycat's neck was bothering towards the end of the match. It looked like he was always down holding his neck. Uh, some serious stuff looked like for a second. Uh, still might be. I don't know. Maybe he broke his neck, but uh, Damien Morte was cut open. Blood just running down his face. Uh, it was great. Uh, just classic violent wrestling. If you don't know, I sort of like it like that. Uh, some violent wrestling every now and then. Um, I would definitely be looking forward to Extreme Rules later on this month, but enough of WWE for now. I'm doing Impact Zone Wrestling. This match was back and forth, like I said. Uh, one point in the match, they're just crawling up. Copycat shimming up like this with his legs up on the rope and him just shimming across the rope. There was a couple times they almost got the title on hanging above. One point in the match, Danny Morte got on top of the steel cage. This was nuts jumped up in the air and uh, nailed uh, Copycat. I think Copycat moved out of the way and Damian Morte just ate it on the canvas. It was pretty nasty. He might have hurt himself too. Uh, blood just all over the mat. And then towards then, Copycat gets on the rope and starts shimming across. Damian Morte jumps on the turnbuckle, shimmies across the rope like this over and over. Uh, they're Damien Copycat almost gets it. Copy Damien Morte is sitting on the rope like this, and Copycat's upside down, holding on, trying to get the belt. They're going for it at the same time, right at each other, connecting. Morte knocks Copycat off, takes the Impact title, and retains the Impact title. This match was the best match of the month. Uh, I'd buy this show alone just for that match. It was really good. I can't say enough about it. Uh... That brings us into our next match. Uh, or There's a promo of Big Business and Birds of Prey. Uh, the tag team title matches. Uh, Birds of Prey, Falcon and Phoenix, two superheroes. Big Business, Kevin Morgan, Damon Windsor. Um, but the 
Ke Kevin Morgan and Damon Windsor drink this potion from these two, uh, like, scientists, kind of nerdy-looking guys in the back who have given them potions before, and they tell them not to take it. They drink it anyway. Uh, generally has side effects, and they're almost like scientists with little chemical potions in these little tube things. I forget what they're called, but... <clears throat> that takes us to the tag title match, Birds of Prey. Uh, big Business match was decent. wasn't the best match tonight. wasn't terrible. It was pretty good. Uh, back and forth action. Um, I forget exactly. Oh yeah, uh, towards the end of the match, Kevin Morgan had to go to the bathroom really bad. He was like, "Oh, I gotta poop" or something like this. Leaning down, like he could tell he's about to poop. He ran to the back, comes back out with toilet paper in his little singlet, like. <laughs> He had just gone to the bathroom, which was sort of dumb. They make Kevin Morgan look like a gorilla last time, the last eye pay per view. He started acting like a gorilla, and then uh, this eye pay per view, they just sort of make Kevin Morgan look like a fool, which is. Well, I mean, I like Kevin Morgan, alright. It's sort of whatever. I don't really enjoy those gimmicks when they sort of have that, but it was whatever. Birds of Prey. Damon, Kevin Morgan leaves again to go to the bathroom. Dame Windsor's like, Where are you going? And then the Birds of Prey hit a move for the 1, 2, 3. Birds of Prey retain. This match was decent. I wouldn't say it was great, but wasn't terrible. I do like Birds of Prey as a tag team, so I'm glad they retain. It's probably my favorite tag team in IZW, considering there are only three, maybe. Or I like the East-West play of Soto, Miyagi, and Midnight Rider, too. I mean, tag team division's okay to me. That takes us... To the next match, it shows like Convict and Aaron Neal's feud, a video package, uh, takes us to that match, Convict and Aaron Neal, some decent action, Convict's this big guy, he looks like he got out of jail, he has a mask and a jail button down uniform on, uh, this match is decent as well, uh, back and forth, uh, Aaron Neal hits the, uh, greetings from Mount Olympus, it's almost like the attitude adjustment John C in WWE, throws him over the top, it's a signature one, two, two and a half. People are like, oh my god, he kicked out of Aaron Neal's signature. Uh, his name's the Bronze Bull Aaron Neal, so he's almost like the gods or something to do with that. That's why it's called the Mount Olympus. Uh, then Convict uh, gets uh, Aaron Neal. Convict picks Aaron Neal up and then slams him into the mat, almost like a choke slam for the one, two, threes. It's back and forth action. Uh, Convict threw Aaron Neal into the steel steps a couple times into some ring posts. Uh, Convict, it was, uh, Convict kind of got punched a couple times and didn't do much to him, uh, but this match was decent. They both got their fair share of punches in, uh, probably 10-15 minutes. It was a good match, I thought. Better than the tag team, but the tag team match wasn't necessarily bad. I thought it was decent. This match was a little better, but nothing, com nothing was better than the... Uh, steel cage match to me takes us to the next match which was oh yeah the impact player of the year finals the winner gets a trophy uh, it's impact player of the year tournament every year coronation and they get to choose their title of their choosing uh it was brass bull bobby star versus jordan jacobs this match was a ladder match it was probably the second best best match of the night in my opinion tied for the second best with the main event i'll get to that in a second this match was really good. Just uh, one time, Brass Bull uh, picked Jordan Jacobs up, and the ladder was sitting like this, and they had the little bar prongs. He threw Jordan Jacobs right through it, fell down. Another time, uh, Jordan Jacobs, they were exchanging kicks. Jordan Jacobs was on on Brass Bull, Bobby Starr. Bobby Starr was getting his fair share of punches in, too. This match was pretty good. There was a couple suplexes, I think, one or two off the ladder. One time, they... Got hit in the head with the ladder a couple times. Each person did. It was a pretty good match. Back and forth. I'd say tied for second best of the night. Can't go wrong with the ladder match for sure. Uh, sometimes you can, but this wasn't a bad one. It's really good. We get to the ladder end of the match. To the Towards the end, Jordan, it's very end. Jordan Jacobs goes. They're both exchanging punches at the top of the ladder, hitting back and forth. And then Jordan Jacobs grabs the trophy hanging from the rope. It's up at the top. And fall, while he's falling down, he grabs it. The trophy just snaps. And there's this ladder that's sitting like this horizontal. Jordan Jacobs nails the ladder. It was pretty, looked pretty rough. The, <laughs> the trophy actually cracked in half when he was falling it because he grabbed it out of midair. And it must have smacked up against the ladder and broke. Jordan Jacobs wins. Uh, I think... Uh, 
I don't know what title he'll choose. Uh, based on the main event, it'll be hard to predict, so I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but this match was really good. Jordan Jacobs wins Impact Player of the Year. Congrats to him. Uh, but, yeah. Then it takes us to, they show a video package of Bad Brad Michaels and uh, Randy Price. This is feud. Uh, the old school assassins, uh, Brad Michaels, uh, and the old school sucker, Randy Price. Uh, Brad, Brad Michaels used to be his mentor back in the day, taught him some things he knows. Gary Toole, who's going to be accompanying R Randy Price to the match ringside, took over his teacher and taught him a lot. Then they feud Brian Cruz, his, uh, old tag partner for old school suckers, um, with Randy Price turns on him with Brad Brad Michaels at March of Mayhem, which is about two months ago. It starts his feud. His feud's pretty good. Takes us to the match, just exchanging clotheslines after clothesline. Uh, Gary Tool, Brian Cruz got on the apron, interfered, interfered a couple times, and uh, Gary Coach Gary Tool just smacked his head against the canvas, took him out a couple of times. Uh, Brian Cruz tried to pick up Randy Price in a like a tombstone pile drive. He couldn't because uh, Gary Tool stopped him. The ref had his back turned. And then Randy Price takes Brad, Brad Michaels and delivers a pile driver right into the canvas for the one, two, three. Randy Price wins. Uh, this match is pretty sorry. I, <laughs> I missed the arm of the chair. Uh, this match was pretty good, I thought. I'd say it was decent, sort of like the tag uh, title match. was probably even with that. None of the matches were bad at all, I didn't think. They were all pretty decent, really good matches. That doesn't happen often on an iPay-Per-View, but they were pretty good. Or a pay-per-view, for that matter. I thought this show was pretty good. Takes us to the main event. They build it up for about 10 minutes on video packages of Johnny Z and Double D's feud. Impact Elite. They come out. Johnny Z with his robe, uh, just sort of yelling at fans. That took about five minutes. And then, um, Double D comes out with the title. Johnny Z is technically the champion, but Double D stole it, and Johnny Z is the rightful IZW champion. Watch my predictions, and I'll show you how the story went down in the first place. I'm not going to explain the whole thing, because it's a difficult process to do. I don't have time to do that. I did it in my prediction, so check that out if you want to know the storyline. Uh, this match started off him exchanging. It was sort of boring for the first five minutes, but towards the end it got really good. Johnny Z hit a kick to the face. Uh, Double D a couple tried to go for a couple moves off the top rope. He's the captain of the force, Double D. He's like this, sort of like a Star Trek fan. I like Johnny Z. He's the natural born leader and founder of IZW Wrestling. Uh, but... He turned heel only a month ago, maybe, which was weird to me, but I still like him, his heel. Double D is what, <clears throat> whatever to me. I'm not a huge fan of him. I like his wrestling. I just, for some reason, I can't get into him as much as a lot of people. But, uh, yeah, Johnny Z delivered his kick a couple times for the one-two near fall, the signature move of Johnny Z. A lot of people were shocked. Uh, Double D hit the... Uh, Cross body uh, in the air, his like air uh, cross body, I forget what the move is called, but cross body. And DD, Johnny Z DDT'd him into the canvas uh, for the 1 2 near fall again. Johnny Z can't believe it. Then Jermaine Johnson, uh, Double D hits him down. Hit J Jermaine Johnson's a guest ref, he's over with the fans, he's a crowd fan fra favorite. Uh, he got fired by Johnny Z a couple weeks ago, and he's back. And supposedly, uh, he's a guest, he's a guest ref, and he doesn't like Johnny Z because he fired him, and he turned heel, but Johnny, Double D's going for his signature in the air after he hit a move, I forget what it was, it was one of his, like, signatures, then he goes for the finisher in the air, like the cross body, something he's called cross body, I don't know, moves a cross body, but it was like air cross body, I forget what it's called, uh, he goes uh, for uh, crossbody. Jermaine Johnson, the ref, catches him in the air and just throws him over his back, throws him in the turnbuckle. He'll turn. I marked out. Uh, Jermaine Johnson's my favorite wrestler. I do like Jermaine Johnson as a face, but I like him a little better as a heel when he had his heel run about a year ago. I went crazy. It was pretty cool. Uh, he's joining Impact Elite, obviously. The stable, the heel stable in IZW. I was really happy. I do like Impact Elite. 
Uh, Johnny Z went for the kick to the face, took Double D out, covers Double D, one, two, three. Jermaine Johnson delivers the count. Johnny Z retains the title and now is the for sure champion of IZW. Uh, towards in the match, Jermaine Johnson, Johnny Z's hugging. Uh, Jermaine Johnson takes off his striped ref shirt and has a Johnny Z shirt, Impact Elite. They, like, hold up the title together, hold up their arms. It's like their signature thing or Impact Elite. Sort of like the Nexus when they do this, when they do this and Impact Elite. Hold up the title and they're all hugging, exchanging hugs. Everybody's happy and Impact Elite. Johnny Z retains. Jermaine Johnson turns heel. I'm definitely going to watch the match the buy the show next week the five dollars Saturday I'll definitely chip in the five dollars to watch what uh, plays out after that and see Jermaine Johnson explain why he why he turned heel that'll be interesting this mat this eye pay-per-view I'd give it an eight and a half maybe even a nine out of ten I'll give it an eight and a half really good action I definitely recommend buying it uh, check out my other vid my other videos Subscribe to my channel. I'll post the link of where to buy it on GFL TV and uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys.